When I first decided to move to Vancouver about two years ago, uh, I really didn't know the city at all. But I still treated it like any other city. Uh, I was looking for you know regular pet-friendly apartments and I was genuinely shocked to see the price difference between non-pet-friendly and pet-friendly. Uh, you know, it was staggering. Uh, furthermore, when you, when you search for uh, an apartment and you see that map on the website, as soon as you click pet-friendly, uh, more than half the places just kind of disappear. It's, it's really, really quite something. We got Ernie about five years ago, so when we decided to move to Vancouver two years ago, we knew we were taking him with us. We put him on the plane, he had to be under the seat for five hours, and then uh, wasn't the nicest place, but uh, you know, it was serviceable. Because uh, we did not want to bring our cat because uh, you know, Ernie, we, we love Ernie. We, we would take him anywhere in the world. After we'd lived in a really cramped one-bedroom apartment for a little too long, uh, we decided we wanted to get a bigger place. Uh, but it was so difficult finding an apartment that was pet-friendly that we basically just wound up moving next door uh, because it was a affordable and you know be familiar but the prime reason was the affordability uh just finding an affordable pet friendly apartment in this city can get really insane and sometimes depressing uh you just look and you look and you look and sometimes you see the perfect place and then it says no pets and that and that's a, a big roadblock for a lot of people it's like uh, location should matter but if you have pets it really limits your location and then you just have to find an alternate place to live. You have to find the next best thing. And sometimes the next best thing is way further down the list than you're comfortable with. You know, I just wish there was more support in the city for, for pet friendly apartments because, uh, you know, people kind of treat their, their, their pets as children. You know, they, they enter your home and then they become a member of the family. Uh, I, I just, uh, you know, it's like you find that you can't live without them. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe cut. <laughs> it was nice. It was nice. I asked you to cut it. Mm -hmm. Because it was nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>